The Elementor AI containers are finally here and it seems like Elementor listened to my feedback in the previous video so I'm excited to be making this video and let's get started. About 8 months ago I made a video about the Elementor AI and I expressed my disappointment or how underwhelming the Elementor AI was and in that video I shared my opinions and expectations of what the Elementor AI would give us or offer us as the Elementor users. And in that video, I mentioned so many things, but some of which you can see them here. Here is my disappointment. When I came here to the Elementor landing page, it says web creation with AI and my expectation i was like maybe i'll be able to recreate designs using the elementor ai within the page builder maybe i'm able to get a screenshot of a page that i want to recreate in elementor and with the power of the elementor ai then i'm able to recreate by simply uploading the screenshot or by simply adding a url to that screenshot and elementor will regenerate for me that layout using their ai However, the Elementor AI is basically doing what has already been in existence. For example, we've been able to do the same text generation and code generation within. Now, having that mentioned, that I was disappointed by what Elementor offered us in the Elementor AI, I offered some suggestions of what I would expect the Elementor AI to offer us. And this is the exciting bit. What I expected with the Elementor AI was that to not only enable us to recreate other websites, but also if we admire a certain type of page website, we could just get a snapshot of that page, get it into the Elementor page builder, and we are good to go. We just have to recreate it or the Elementor AI enables us to recreate that page. Not only that, but also getting design inspiration within Elementor. For example, you could, in this case, enter a prompt on a page. For example, when I say add a new container, probably here they could have added an option like create with AI. Then once I click over there, I can enter a prompt of like um, create for me a hero section with a background image, you know, left aligned and then and all those features that you want to appear in your hero section and then say recreate. Then it would recreate like one, two, three different design inspirations that you would pick from and use them within your Elementor editor or just simply make some changes before I even forget. Now, if you want to watch that full video, I'm going to leave a link right down in the description of this video. Just like I mentioned in that video, it has been added within the current version of the Elementor AI where we're able to generate AI containers and we are also able to get inspiration or alternatives or options of the kind of designs that have been generated with the AI and we are able to use them within our Elementor website. And if you want to test that out, at the moment you only have to have the pro version of Elementor and then you'll have a few credits to test out the Elementor AI if you haven't purchased the Elementor AI package which is currently running for about $50 a year. But that is all based on a credit system. But that aside, if you want to test out this Elementor AI containers, first of all, you have to come back here to your website dashboard you're going to come here to the Elementor, then you're going to go to settings and under settings, you'll have to go to features and under features, you have to scroll down here and look for build with AI option. It has to be in green, which means it should be active and that way you'll be able to use the AI to generate containers. Once that is done, I was able to test out a few creations which I wasn't happy with and then I was also limited uh, by the credits because I am using the free trial version of the Elementor AI so I couldn't go any further but the thing is exactly the option that I mentioned in the video eight months ago was added right over here and once you click over here then you get this pop-up where you can enter prompts of how you want your containers to look like alternatively you can get suggestions by 
forward slashing and then you can see the suggestions that are from Elementor or those that are suggested by Elementor themselves or in case you want AI to generate a specific layout based on a certain website that you saw on the internet you simply click over here and then add the reference website then you'll come over here add the URL of the reference website and then simply click submit and then it will generate for you sections based on that website URL that you added. This makes me so much happy that in the previous video, I mentioned exactly this and then Elementor comes up and implements it in the next update. That shows that they actually listen to their users. Now, that aside, this layout over here was generated with the AI containers. I wasn't impressed with it. Maybe I fed in the wrong prompts and it didn't give me what I really expected. But again, I'm not able to use the AI containers at the moment because my credits are done and I'm not willing yet to pay for the Elementor AI because it still lacks some things. But at least we are seeing some progress in the right direction and that Elementor is trying their best to improve this AI and make it that it's actually able to produce for you some awesome layouts. Now, I've actually seen some great builds with the Elementor AI based on what Elementor is showcasing on their website, which I wasn't able to do myself. Like for example, over here, these are layouts that were built with the Elementor AI containers and I wasn't able to build them myself. However, Elementor is able to do it. Maybe I would try my luck furthermore if I had more credits to test out, you know, this. But if you want to check it out, you could try using your free credits and go ahead or you could, of course, if you don't mind to get the Elementor AI license and you may try out your luck. Also, if you're wondering what kind of prompts you can feed into the Elementor AI, Elementor has put together this page prompts.elementor.com and here you can just come over here, for example, subscribe block includes a title, small description and newsletter form, all parts with borders. So just copy this and then add it over here in the Elementor in the Elementor AI prompt pop-up then you go ahead and uh, generate of course if you want to refine it you can go ahead and click over here to enhance the prompt now that's not all they have more other layouts down below here and of course you can go ahead and filter scrolling effect counters and probably they are going to be improving and adding more prompts right over here. So if you are wondering what you are still able to create with the Elementor AI, you can create, apart from containers now, you can create code, you can uh, generate text and you can generate images. Actually, my most favorite part of the Elementor AI is the image generation because it just works out seamlessly. You can make edits within the editor and you can do all those things to get images within your Elementor website. But I'm pretty excited by how the Elementor AI containers will turn out later on when things get smooth and stable and we are able to generate unique designs with the Elementor AI. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you found value in the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment for some feedback in case you have any and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a good time and goodbye.